Well, the time has come. It's January the 29th is the big day, and today we reveal the squads for Shot for a Day. Who's going to be playing with Tommy in the red kit in the away dressing room? Who's going to be playing with Terry in the blue kit and the home dressing room? Watch this video. You're shortly going to find out. One thing I will just say to you, I primed the squads, and they're just in numbered 1 to 16 order. There are no first 11s being picked yet, and just so that you do know, I picked the first 11 to start and then the boys manage the teams. So uh, just if you hear him saying uh, that the first 11 of the starting lineup, not quite true. However, it's a funny video. You'll find out whose team you're in. Watch, and you better start getting fit, lads, because these two are at it already. Who's going to win? Hello, Shots fans. Here I am, Tommy Woodring and Terry Brown. Uh, we're here to deliver our Shots for, the, for a Day squad lists. After you. I'd just like to ask you a couple of questions here, Sam. Uh, the various numbers that are alongside the names that is that like Mr. Holland, my goalie, is he 28 or is he 28 stone? What is it? What's that? That, that is age, Terry. That's, oh, that's not their weight, don't worry. That's his age. That, that, that's fine. On 28 is good, then, yeah. 28. Oh, so, so uh, my Mr. Gaskill, it's 62. Is that 62? <laughs> that is, that is years, age, age. years of age. Okay. I think that's a good age for a oh, keeper. No, Plenty of experience. Okay. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, if I if I go my right back, Francis, young whipper snap snapper at seventeen. So he's gonna get some game time without a doubt. You're right. And back. then I've got it uh, number two, Mr. Piers, who's twenty three. So yeah, a little bit of energy, a little bit of legs, I would have thought, in the back lane there. I go on to Mr. Ship, who's twenty nine. Good age for a left-sided player. And my left-back is a Mr. Yarny, one of two Yarnies I have in my team, and he is 27. Good age, in his prime. Younger than mine. Now they put... Well, it's not Paul Blundell they put in there, no, is, is, is his, it? I believe that's Paul Tell Blundell. me that's his son. I believe it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, Unless right. Paul's lying about his age. Okay, right. So, Paul, yeah. Well, Paul's son, welcome. Looking forward to it. And as I said, the second Mr. Yarny in my group is a really good middle age of 60. Um, and I'm not sure if there is a relationship between the two Yarnies, but 33 years tells me it's not his younger son. Well, I'm hoping, much as I love Mike Pusey, I'm hoping it ain't Mike Pusey in <laughs> at number five. I presume at 61, that's his son, yeah? Good, look forward to uh, um, him running the game, I'm thinking, yeah. And I have it centre-half, I'm hoping he's a man mountain, this fella, I don't know, but at 47-year-old we have Mr Faulkner. OK, um, at number six I've got Mr Blake, 41, good age. Uh, uh, to be honest, the ages are important, but I'd quite like to see the shirt sizes, <laughs> if, if that was in there. You know, XXL, X, triple XL, what are they? I get awkward tell. Okay, yeah, fine. And at number six, this is also a vocation. I thought this was thrown in as a bit of a bend there, but it's Mr. Dance. I thought they'd given me that one on purpose, but he's 41. Um, and I'm sure he can sh throw some moves. On the right wing, we've got Mr. Hollis, 33 years of age. Yeah, I'm happy with that, yeah. Whereas my right winger is a... The only, I believe, female in the group, and that is Miss Jordan at 24. So I'm expecting her to be high heeling it down on the wings. Mm -hmm. At number eight, I've got Mr. Jessup, 25. I mean, I'd, I'd like to have a comparison in age, but I, yeah, th that's good news for us, 25. And my number eight, engine room, 28. Again, another Mr. Pocock. Should be in his prime of his life, and uh, I expect a lot of up and down the, the pitch off, off of Mr. Pocock. Uh, Mr. Brooks comes in at nine, yeah, um, 42. Sound, yeah, sounds good to me. Target man to hit. And Mr. Dean, at our number nine, has a lot to live up to in that department this season. And whilst he's got 46 years, I'd love to see him score between four and six goals. At number 10, sitting in the old air, Mr. Newman. I've got a friend. I hope that ain't my mate, by the way. 
Bloody hell. Newman, 40, no, ain't 46, he's 76. Yeah. So, uh, no, we're, we're happy with that. And I have a uh, young Mr. Ray, uh, who's 25, who hopefully will be pulling the strings just in behind the front two. Uh, last in the starting lineup, Mr. Sadler coming in, 34 year old. Number 11, I presume he can play either side, so look forward to seeing you. Again, my number 11 is a Mr. Valor, weighing in at 43 years of age. Um, yep, let's hope he's got still a bit running left in them legs. Now, the numbers here don't signify whether they're going to be rubber dubs or not, but 12, 14, 15 and 16. Mr. Boswell comes in at 12 and he's 24 years of age. I suspect he might come in a bit earlier than 12. And I have Mr. G. Piers at 12. Obviously, in relation to Mr. D. Piers, who is number two. Um, and unless I'm mistaken, it's definitely not his dad. There's only 11 years between them. So they are... Brothers, there you go. So well, brothers. Well, at number fourteen, I've got the lucky Mister Pierce because there's obviously three of them. This one struck lucky getting in our side. Yeah, look forward <laughs> to seeing you, thirty-year-old Mister C. Pierce. <laughs> and at fourteen, I have a Mister Elsley who is just knocking on the door of the half century. So uh, let's hope this is a, a big year for him on the on the pitch as well as in a birthday cake. Well. At number 15, Mr. Hawley, I wonder whether he comes with his own defibrillator because he's 60 years of age and I'm not sure we'll be starting with you, but you'll definitely get 10 minutes. <laughs> and I have number 15 is a Mr. Mason, who is the right young age in comparison, at 33. Um, and again... Like we said, the numbers aren't really reflective of how much game time you're going to play here. I'm sure it'll be uh, there'll be plenty. Uh, the fourth official will probably have the hardest time they've had at the EBB this stadium, inclusive of what they have had to put up with so far. But Mr. Mason at number 15. I mean, I can just say something to the fourth official. I'm not going to get sent off, but I'm not so sure about you know you and your management team if if they're all all there. Um, at number 16, I've got a young lad, 18 years old. I'm guaranteed he's going to get plenty of game time. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that, that's the, my squad. I'm more than happy with it. Last year, we managed to turn Mark's, or the year before, turn Mark's team over. Um, and what I will say about my team, I'm really confident about them, is... Tommy ain't got his gadgets anymore, has he? He might have a really good recruitment officer, but he's had nothing to do with this recruitment. And also, all this jiggery popey on here with, um, <laughs> I've seen him play 14 times and all that. It's, no, it's back to old school, Tommy. <laughs> and my final number is 16, and a young Mr Warner, a 20-year-old, again, he'd be finding his way onto the pitch fairly early, I should think. Um, <laughs> One thing is that I've been placed in the away dressing room and whilst we will be wearing the red home kit of the shots, I have to say that I am two for zero in that dressing room. Came with Eastbourne Borough in the FA Cup and won and then came with Kings Lynn in the league and won. So, having been unbeaten in that league, it's, it's not such a, a handicap, I don't think. Of course, Terry has the massive pressure of not losing much in that dressing room. You know, mm. certainly in the last nine months. So, you <laughs> know, you can't get used to the old habits. You've got to keep winning, hell, in that dress. So the pressure is ultimately on the home dressing room. Look forward to seeing you all. Can't wait. Bring it on. Oh, Cheers, Tommy. <laughs> <Not bad. laughs>